that's over 65 if married, file, and join or blind. We'll get into that basically later, but that's our little worksheet. So I'm going to put this, let's make this black and white, home tab, font group. I'll make this black, white, I'll center it. And then uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put tables around this home tab font group let's put borders around that let's make this black and white home tab font group black white there we have it so that means that that when i look at the standard deduction i'm going to change this based on the table now we could try to automate this you could say well if it's single it'll populate automatically but i kind of like the physical necessity of saying equals and then going down here and saying okay what's going on here it's the single status that helps you to determine, that's helping me determine, okay, it's a single filer. That's why it's at the 13850. Uh, and that ties out into our worksheet here where it's the 13850. So then, so then the, the, when, we, when we say, okay, well, which one is it going to take between these two? We want to take the, the, the larger of the itemized or this one. So this will be a data input in here, and this will be a formula. This is a formula we can use called max, meaning take the biggest one. That's what that formula means. Pretty basic formula, but sometimes it's hard to remember because it's not used as often. But take the max of those two. And so it takes the 13, uh, the 13,850 in this case. I should probably pull that down here and then say this is going to be uh, so, so then, and I could just say this is the greater of, let's say, just say greater of, and then I'll indent that two times, home tab, alignment, indent that two times, just so we have a subtotal, we pulled it inside, and then we pulled basically the result down here, which is taking the greater of these two. So that's going to give us then our, that's going to be equal to then... Oh man, it did a formula. Enter. <laughs> and then that's going to give us our taxable income. So taxable income, which is going to be equal to the 100,000 minus the greater of the itemized or standard deductions. So that's the 86,150, which ties into the 86,150 here. So that's the bottom of like the income statement, which we usually do our data input and are focused on with our data input side of things. The second half of the calculation is the tax. So we'll go back on over and say, okay, let's say we're gonna take that times, in essence, I'm gonna say times with an X, uh, times the, the tax rate, let's call this the average tax rate. Now notice we don't actually multiply times an average tax rate. What we do is we, we apply those tax brackets so, but I'm, so I'm going to back into this number. I'm going to let the software now do the calculation. So I'm going to say this equals the tax before credits and other taxes. 